What defines myself as a competitor? It's tough to put into it to think about that, but I guess if I could pick maybe one word, I'd probably go with explosive. Happy is Jordan Wolf in his second year. He gets run over freight train by Weedmeyer. I try to be pretty cool, calm, and collected um, and under control in everything that I do, but if certain opportunities present themselves, like maybe a scrum ground ball or an attackman coming across the crease. With two players with a hat trick along with Schneider. <laughs> or any situation where I can really kind of assert myself with a little bit of explosiveness and power, that's definitely something I try to go for. Um, whether that's, you know, throwing a pinpointed check right on an attackman's hands as he's ready to make a pass, or again, as I said, as someone's coming across the crease, but or picking up a ground ball and running out as fast as I can, um, just for those quick spurts and those quick moments, but I could probably go with explosive. My style of pocket is to have a, a mid pocket to, to maybe mid-high, but probably the, the thing that I, I like to have most is a, is, a, is a real good amount of hold in my stick. Because as a defenseman, you know, you got a six foot pull out there. Um, you're going through scrum ground balls and you've got people chasing after you. Your stick's gonna get hit, you're gonna get hit. But to kind of have that feeling of security and knowing that the, stick, the ball is gonna stay right in your stick, that's something that's really important to me. But that's a double-edged sword. If you have all that hold, but you're not able to make that quick pass when you get the ball up off the floor, um, you kind of kind of set yourself up for failure there. So this thing has a lot of hold. Um, it has the ability to make a really quick pass. I need to make that touch. Um, but if I need to really, you know, pull back and make a cross field pass, or maybe even take a shot, um, it gets a, a good snag right here on the top of my stick. Um, so it's a very adaptive pocket, depending on whatever situation I'm in. But regardless of any situation, um, it's always a really good amount of hold, and it feels really secure in there. Based off everything I said about the way I like to play and the way I like my stick to function, fiber is just a perfect choice for me. Just really holds the ball right where I want it to be in my stick. Um, and at the end of the day, it gives me ultimate ball security with a long stick, which is exactly what I'm looking for. If there's one piece of advice that I could give to younger defensemen, um, it would definitely be to invest in your footwork at a younger age. It's great to have a, 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 you know, a dialed in stick, which I obviously care a lot about and helps me play the way I want to play. But let's be honest, you're not a part of the offensive rotation, you're not an offensive player. Nobody's gonna give you the ball. So the only way you're gonna be able to give it is by staying on attackmen and staying with them step for step. Easiest way I think to work on your feet is just buy a footwork ladder. It costs maybe 10, 20 bucks. Just set it up in your backyard and, and get after it. Do I have any pregame rituals? Yes, uh, short answer is yes. Um, I don't know when or why or how it started in college, but for some reason, uh, right before every the start of every game and right after halftime, I always do the same thing where I run across the field, come back, and do the same footwork thing over and over again. Three times actually. It has to be three times. And every time I do it, I'm done, I'm set, I'm locked in, I'm dialed in. And I, I just made a habit of that I have to do it every single time. And I didn't think anybody was noticing until like probably my junior, senior year in college, my mom was just like why do you do that every time? And at that point I had to say, I, I have no idea. But uh, it, that's the one thing I definitely do every single time. I have to say probably my favorite thing outside of lacrosse is to travel, um, explore, whether that's camping, hiking, backpacking, or just simply traveling around the world and, and doing photography. Uh, there's just so many cool places out there in the world to go experience, so many different cultures. I, you know, lacrosse has brought me all around the world. Um, and as a result, um, it's brought me to some really cool things to photograph. And it's something that I, I care a lot about. And I like sharing um, my experiences with people. And photography's really been my vehicle to do that. So if you get a chance, if you're interested, go ahead and check out my Instagram. It's leychad45. <laughs> that was awesome. I think we're done. Okay. I think that was really good.